Hello guys, today I want to present to you my new online course about creating packages. It was released last week on Laravel Daily. I just didn't have time to create a video version this on YouTube because of Laracon. I've been traveling, so now I'm back and I want to present you this and read a few chapters with you together as a free YouTube kind of portion of the course. If you want the full course, it's on LaravelDaily.com for premium members. And it is a course for those of you who want to create packages. And typically it's a very small amount of developers who would actually need to create packages, but it also could be an answer to those of you who ask, how could I have some kind of helper and then reuse it in other projects? It doesn't necessarily have to be a package well known public and for everyone else, you could create packages for yourself to reuse the same functionality in your multiple projects. And for this example, I'm creating a real package, which is released actually. So it is on GitHub, Laravel permission editor, which has already 18 stars at this point. So during that text form course, I'm creating exactly that step by step. So we have a kind of an admin panel on top of Spotty Laravel permission package to manage roles and permissions. So let's take a look how to create it from the very beginning. And let's read the first lessons from this course. By the way, I'm enjoying more and more to create text based text form content and courses because it's easier for me to create easier for you to consume and easier for me to edit in the future for Laravel 10 and beyond. So in total, it's 12 lessons with 6000 words with examples. And let's begin with the lesson one, which is just the starting point. So the first thing I did, I've created this as a project, not as a package, but routes, controllers, views, MVC. So it was as a part of different Laravel project, like a dashboard with URL. So this is our starting point to resource routes, then role controller with just simple CRUD, and then the same with permissions, but it's a roles index as well. In Blade, the design was taken from Tailwind UI, but it doesn't really matter for the package in this case. And we have the create form to role store. So a typical Laravel application is the starting point. Now how to package it as Laravel package to publish on GitHub. Our goal is to have this composer require our name and the package name. So let's click on lesson two and start packaging the package. So it feels pretty weird for me to read the text as you can read yourself, but I will basically summarize it for you in a video format. So to create a package first, you need to create a Laravel project and the package will live inside of that project in some folder, which you can provide. The starting point of the package could be created with a few boilerplates and starting packages. There's one from Spotty and here's the link and a few more packages, but I wanted to do it manually to show you how it works without any boilerplates. So basically you create a folder inside of your Laravel project, packages, your vendor name and name of the package. And then after you have that inside, you need to create composer JSON in that folder. So you CD to that folder and do composer in it. There will be a wizard with questions, what to name this and that. It doesn't matter that much until you actually decide to publish. So I started with this structure name is important everything else not so much and it could be changed anytime later even after publishing the package and then we need to add that package into the composer json of the project so there will be two composer json's laravel project and then our package inside of that project so the project should load the package like this and kind of override the packages the github url with repository like this so it basically says that this will be loaded not from GitHub yet, but instead from local folder like this. And then we run composer update. And if we have no errors, then the package is ready to be consumed in Laravel project. Nothing visual yet. We've just registered, prepared our package to be consumed. Now let's actually create the service provider, which is next step. So the next lesson is about service provider and you need to create a service provider for your package in your folder of vendor package name, SRC, which stands for source, and then your provider name. Usually, typically it's package name, service provider suffix. You can create that manually, or you can use artisan command PHP artisan make provider, which would generate the provider inside of Laravel application, but then you just move it into the folder of this, changing the namespace. This is very important. Namespace should come from the package. 
and not something like app providers. Every service provider has two methods, register and boot. In our case, we will be interested in the boot. But to use that service provider, basically service provider is a place where you register various bindings, configurations, kind of like a global config, if you will. I have a separate tutorial about service providers, what they are and how to use them. I will link that in the description below separately. So we register our service provider and the namespace, PSR4 loading, auto loading of the SRC folder with the exact namespace that we will provide in the service provider, this one. So you will repeat that in all of your files inside of the package and then we register that provider. Okay, now we have service provider and even then nothing visual yet. So in the next lesson, let's create controller and route. So the actual functionality of the package, the registration of everything, the configuration is kind of ready. Now let's create the functionality and implementation. So we would see the first visual result. So first we create the controller, role controller with just returning it works without any views for now. So our next goal is to create something that works to show this on the page. So we create the controller inside of source and that source SRC, you can call that as an app folder in your Laravel application. So app HTTP controllers in the package becomes SRC HTTP controllers. So you create this file, you can do that manually or create that with make controller in the Laravel app and then move it with a namespace. Again, namespace is very important. It should be package namespace, then HTTP and controllers. And then you have a method with returning anything and then you create the route for that route is also within that package but outside of SRC as in Laravel application there's app something and there's one level above routes web same here so above SRC folder there's routes web you use that controller again with the namespace and you have route resource and then we register the routes in our service provider. Actually, the default service provider from Laravel, the route service provider, is the place where they register routes API and routes web. So this is exactly what we're doing here in the boot method. We do route group and we load routes from routes web, which is one level above the service provider. And also for all those routes, we load the prefix and as for route naming. Then we launch composer update to update everything. And now if we launch the roles, so this permission editor is the prefix from the route group in the service provider, this one, and then the URL is slash roles, which already comes from the route file itself from here. And then we see it works in the browser. So this is the first working page of our new package, which is locally for now, but then step by step inside of this course, I will explain how to, for example, load blade views in the next lesson and then more functionality and then how to actually publish it on GitHub and on packages. So this will be the end of the YouTube kind of trailer, you can call it. So you see the first step, how to create the package. If you want the full course, it's on Laravel daily com for premium members. So subscribe to that. If you want to get this course, also more than 25 more courses, premium tutorials, and everything to come in 2023 and beyond. As a proof that it actually works, I can quote a comment from Gavin who went through that course and actually released his own new package. And it's a great motivation for me that my tutorial actually converted to something created by someone else. So I will keep doing more tutorials on Laravel Daily.com and here on YouTube. And see you guys in other videos.